Okay, I'm putting together a little tutorial on how to create a self-extracting 7-zip archive. This might be useful for sending a group of files to a computer user who might be a little less savvy. Um, so we'll start the process by opening up the 7-zip file manager. Um, we're going to navigate within the file manager to the directory <clears throat> where we have the files that we want to archive. So we'll go ahead and navigate there. Okay, I'm uh, where I want to be and we'll want to select all the files that we want to archive. So they're highlighted now. And we'll click this large green button here. And the whole trick of it is to tick this box here that says create self-extracting archive. That's the main trick. You'll notice that the file name extension is changed to exe because that's going to be an executable file. And we're free to change the file name to something a little more descriptive. In this case, we're going to call it Team Viewer Portable, since that's what I happen to be compressing. Um, you can select different options for all of these, but that is not necessary. All we have to do is click this OK button, and it'll start doing its thing. And as you can see, within that directory where we had the files we wanted to compress, we have this new file, which is an executable. Let's get out of this and look at it in Windows Explorer, like the uh, user you're sending it to might use. There it is. So all the user has to do is double click on the file. They would select where they want to uh, extract it. That could get messy. Maybe you can guide them a little bit. With that part of the process, but you hit extract. And there's all the files and they work perfectly well and that's it hope this helps you